I feel like crying because my team is bad. So you know what time it is. It is road to 1300s time. Now, if you don't know what's going on here, check the description or check last episode. And I just want to dive right into this. I want to see like Slurper for something. I want to see some hot fire. Ooh, instead we got Cobalion, which is fire, aka Cobalion. Uh, we got Life Orb Zapdos, which is also hot. We get a Soul Vest Heracross, the absolute king set. Um, we have a Rocker in Cobalion, so I'm getting my man Rocker Cobalion to assert so much dominance. Because you can't forget, you always need a Rocker on deck, like my man Cobalion here. Then we can we can go for Mr. Scolipede uh, to get up T-Spikes, so that would be pretty hot. Celesteela is super broken. Uh, we just Celesteela last time, I think. So I don't know if I want to go with my Celesteela. Zapdos is also ultra broken, so I'm going to get my man Zapdos on deck. And we're going to get my man Gallade on deck, because Gallade's also... Nice double fighting core between Cobalion and Gallade. Nice double fighting, they're both not weak to uh, Psychic. Damn. Expert team building. And I'm just going to reroll these other three. Although Celesteela is pretty fire, I don't think I need him per se on this team. Although, ooh, it would be a nice Psychic just to get my man Celesteela. If I have like Lele or something, you just switch hard Steela. And you have a good Pokemon, so... Uh, we might have to go for Steela and then maybe not go for Gallade. I don't know, I don't know about Gallade either. I mean, Gallade's like a strong mon, but I don't know how I feel about my boy Gallade. Uh, we definitely have to change the Steela set. We can keep the Zapdos as like Life Orb, even though it's really bad. And we have to change Cobalion, so hmm, I don't know. I'll, I'll say Fox Steela and randomize these other three. Let's see. Uh, we do get our Steel type back in Empoleon, so we can go with Empoleon and get rid of Cobalion. That might actually be the play here. This looks like a Fire Empoleon set to Toxic Rocks to attacks. Damn, this looks hot. I don't even need to change the set. How good. Then we have Wood Hammer, Expert Belt, Mimikyu, the God set, obviously. Uh, who else? <laughs> and Life Orb, Kartana. I could get Kartana and change that to a uh, change that to a Scarfer, I guess. So we can go with Scarf, Kartana, Life Orb, Zap, those, this, Empoleon. And uh, we could go with, yeah, as this this set is kind of bad, I guess, because you have Drain Punch instead of Psychic Move. So we would need to change that so we can hit Tox Apex, maybe. Potentially. Uh, then Cobalion, we already have a Rocker, we don't need Cobalion anymore, we already have the Steel type too, so we can reroll that. And I think we want Mimikyu, um, even though the set's really bad, because Mimikyu just gives you with the skies, it gives you a check to like everything. Uh, how do you call that, like a safety net for everything, so you don't lose it. Because this team is obviously going to be super, super bad, like look at this losing the Ash Grand, like immediately fire. Um, I have to make it AV Cardano the Goat, because we just kind of lose to uh, Ash Grand right now. So, we'll see what this Cobalion will be, let's see if we can get something nice. Ooh, I accidentally don't have this unlock. Okay, let me reroll that boy. We got Breloom. Dude, just when I say I don't... Just when I say I lose to Ashgren, I get the best Ashgren answer in the game, Breloom, obviously. Ah, damn. The shit is listening confirmed. I'm happy about this team. Team looks absolutely awful. Exactly what you expect. <laughs> okay, so diving into the builder. I need to make this quick because we're already in a game. But uh, we have the innovation. We have Spit F Breloom to make sure we don't lose to Coco and Ashgren. We have Scarf Kartana. We have Zen Hard by Gallade. Change that to Zen to make sure we don't lose to like... To, to make sure if they go like hard packs on the Gallade, they don't hard wall us. Uh, we have Expert Belt Mimikyu still. We have this tactical EV spread on Empoleon that I don't know what it does. It's out of outspeed Magirna. And we have this Life Orb Zapdos still. So looking at the game... Uh, this dude already left, so free his points of life. Ah, ah. I was gonna say, we lose, like, everything here, but we don't lose if he leaves them. We smart. Oh, he came back. Never mind. Never mind. We lose. Okay, um. Let's think this through. We lose to this Pokemon 6 -0. I mean, Empoleon eats a hit, probably. Uh, I don't know how fat Empoleon is, but Empoleon looks kind of thick. Uh, um. Empoleon has Mimikyu, maybe. <laughs> maybe Shadow Claw have Mimikyu. Uh, we kind of lose to Pinsir. That's why I need to keep Zapdos healthy for him. I don't know how to be him. Like, I can lead those, but if I lead Zapdos, uh, I guess I can lead Zapdos, yeah. It's at least hard Volcarona. This dude's a wild, insane man. So we got a hard life from T-Bolt uh, to make sure we assert some dominance on this kid. I uh, hope he doesn't outspeed us and just hit us with, like, a fat move. Okay, that was a nice 60. Uh, or outspeed. Oh, Zapdos is going to go into the dump. Rip. We lose a pincer now. He just hard Z moves for no reason. I mean, I got a free kill. I don't know what I'm saying. No reason. Um, so we lose a pincer now. Kind of sick, so... Yikes. Yikes. I thought he would quiver. And I needed the damage off because otherwise we just lose. <laughs> oh no. Not like this. I mean, we're going to Zen, but we're going to get flame bodied. So, whatever. There's no point here. Uh, uh, let me see if Knock actually kills. Let me try hard and calc on the low ladder. I don't think it does because he is a move. But let me calc in case um, in case it is. Let me see. Big Galadu with a Knock. Uh, I don't think it kills though because he does have the Z move, like I said. Uh, yeah, that kills. Okay, cool. Hope we don't get the min roll, I guess. <laughs> min roll, we cry. But, uh, yeah, it covers the Mew. It covers the Lando better, so it's it's worth it. It covers the Feeny better, too. It covers, like, everything he would want to go. So let's just hope he time is out, because I don't think we can win this. A very expert win condition, if I say so myself. Uh, yeah, let's just hope we don't get min rolled on. 
But yeah, I think he's gonna switch. I don't think he's gonna stay in with his Volcarona and sack it off. If he does, and he get we get the min roll, then I'll throw my uncle against the wall, I guess. But not like it matters because we lose this anyway. Damn. I thought Road to 1300 was like a meme title, and it would be like, oh, we can go to like 1600. But Road to 1300s actually, Road to 1300s actually looks a bit dangerous because we're in the 1200s now or something. I don't know where we are right now. Let me see. 1100. Ooh, not looking too hot. Nice win loss. Oof. Big shout outs to a last episode that I was recording when I fucked up the uh, thing. Shout out to my man OBS for that. Uh, big shout out to that episode where we didn't even make progress. So, <laughs> so let's see if this Mac can even click. I might have to edit that shit out. <laughs> if you're watching this in the recording, get pranked. Or if you're watching this in editing, I mean, get pranked. Because you see that bar, right? You see no sound, no sound, no sound. And then you hear the <laughs> of my sound. And you think, ooh, hot. This man is finally talking again. I cut this out. But you have him pranked. Ooh, Bob Smash, this is how you win in the low ladder. Ah, how do I do it? This man just timed out. His mom called him down for dinner or something. This is the only way this team, these teams can win, especially after he nuked my Zapdos, uh turn one. Oh, another team we lose against. Ah, ah, you love to see it. Uh, Kamo, I guess I can check with Mimikyu because we have the expert belt player of expert technology on deck. Uh, dude, oh, Berloom looks super hot this game. I can just poison everything. We have Toxic, so I come Toxic, like Tangrowf and Zapdos. So it works out perfectly this game. Might actually have to lead off with my man Berloomer. Dude, Berloat. He's going to have a hard T-Tar, so he can't even do anything about it. Uh, I'm going to hit someone with a Talk. I'm just gonna seat bomb actually as he goes hard to tang. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. I'm hitting this man with a poison. I should have just hard toxic, I guess, but I'm hitting this man with a poison anyway. I'm so good. I'm so good. It's just gonna HP ice and it's gonna do like it's gonna do like okay, it's probably actually not. I was gonna say it's gonna do like 40, but we're maxed, but if we eat that, ooh, 30. That's still way too much. Whatever. We tagged here for some free chip, dude. He's taking chip from the sandstorm as well. Damn, so good, so good, so good. A real one protects again on the Zapdos, but I'm not real enough. I mean, uh, toxic again. We on the Zapdos, but I'm not real enough. Looking at the team, zap those. <laughs> Looks like a minor speed bump, aka we lose 6 0 to it, and he uh, molests me. I've been molested. So I think I might have to sack Breloom the Spore. Let me see if Breloom eats, because we are um, not Kartana. What does that mean? I mean, I guess I guess it means that you have to use Kartana because it's way better, which yeah, I might actually have to agree with. Uh, big zap those. Zap with those two. We eat Heat Wave, dude. Heat Wave is the easiest eat of life. So Protect Field. We tacked one more time to make sure we are at the max HP. Oh, he doesn't even have a Heat Wave. Goat. Um, I don't know what the play is here. I think Spore is probably the better play to put this man to bed instead of just poisoning him. If he has HPIC, he doesn't even have a good move to touch me, so I could actually Toxic and just stall him out. But in case he was just predicting, he actually does have Heat Wave. I just I don't I don't want to take risks, so I just want to put him to bed. Yeah, okay. We could have probably stalled this out with Toxic, but whatever. I think put oh he's uh, Extender plus Excadrill. I mean the Extend Rock. What is that called? The um the Cock Rock. How I call it. that's how it's that's how it's called on the streets. No, I mean the uh. Smooth rock, yes. So we go hard to zap those and fire off a nice uh, boosted T bolt. Hope he tries to sack his zap those. That would be super fire. Super fuego hot. Real one heat waves hard the X cajol. I mean, I'm a real one, so I'm gonna heat wave the X cajol. He's actually going to <laughs> instead of goes into T tar, so um, I guess I'm not real enough. I mean, I am real enough, but it didn't work out. Um, so now we go hard into big Galide. Oh, he's pursued smooth rock. I've been kicked. It appears I've been kicked. Oh, we got the static power though. How, how do I do it? How do I do it? So lucky and bad. Ooh. I'm lucky and bad like no one else. Damn. I'm checking if I have the correct abilities and everything because I didn't even put static. It just put himself. Static, which is like my static now. So, why do I just win here, dude? I'm setting up a boost. I'm getting a beast boost on this kid. He's also static, but we're not going to get parried because this Galate is well-trained. And even if I do get parried, I still killed his Zapdos. So that's worth for me because Zapdos like, kind of wins. Okay, don't get parried. Come on, Galate. Galate, you got this. Oh, it's helmet. Oh, and he gets the parry too. Lucky. Lucky, so. Lucky, so. 
So lucky. So lucky, dude. So lucky. I mean, I also got the para, but whatever. <laughs> I'm still calling him lucky. <laughs> he goes to Zalika Mam, which... Uh, let me see if I actually eat one. Dude, Z Alakazam is nothing compared to the godness that is Gallade. Easy snack. Please don't full para me. Unless he's like Shadow Ball. In that case, he's gonna fuck me anyway. Okay, we eat. We eat. Yep, we eat. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. It is actually incredible how much I feel like chopping my own cock off right now. Holy shit. Oh, he just sacks his Zam, which like wins too. Ree! Ree! <sighs> I mean, damn, you saw like a wild, <laughs> wild seal there. I just had like random shit that came up in my mind. I just, I, <laughs> I just realized that I said just like random shit that I would say if I'm in call with my friends as well. Uh, nice, nice, no kid friendly content apparently on the channel. I mean, I don't get money anyway. I don't care. Ah. Like it doesn't matter if I don't. If it doesn't matter if I say swear. If I say swear words, it doesn't matter. I don't get money anyway. Uh, this kid friendly. Ooh, I got played. I got played. Uh, and it turns out easy, but yeah, I got kicked. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter if I if I swear or if I like show naked images. Oh no, then I get gonna get my channel deleted. No, but it doesn't matter if I um, if I go a bit wild because I don't get money anyway. So there's no other downside outside of your channel getting molested. Ooh, he's Camolio. I mean, he's uh, obviously he's Camolio. <laughs> it's literally the Pokemon. But what I mean is he is uh, Rocks Camolio. Which is hot. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he should be. I think he should be rocks on his tar, but whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna double to. I don't have a good double for Excadrill because this team sucks. Huh. I guess I got some damage on it then. Where well, he goes Tangrowth instead, which just walls me. <laughs> oh, you actually do not like to see it. I'm gonna go to Big Empoleon. I think I lose. Like, I don't think I can win this, which is really sad. It would have been a lot easier to win. Let's just say it like this. I would have been a lot easier to win if his Zam was gone, if he didn't get the hacks, but I don't think. Even then, his ice control still looks like super scary now that my Zapdos is like sent into the dirt. What even killed my Zapdos? What did they do to my poor Zapdos? This is not a counter, by the way. I'm getting some veteran chip on this. Because otherwise, I can't really beat it. Actually, I kind of need my disguise, kinda. He's just gonna go for the fighting move, so I'm just gonna molest him and go Mimikyu. Actually, he's gonna overpredict, so I'm gonna ice beam them. I have. I'm, I'm big brain. Big brain overlord. He's gonna predict the Mimikyu. How do I do it? How do I do it? How? How, dude? How? Get some free chip, and now I go Mimikyu, dude. Now I go Mimikyu. Ah, how do I do it? So, easiest prediction of my life. Let's see if I can get the double prediction of your flamethrowers twice. Your flamethrowers twice, he's a goat. Ooh, double goated, reverse goated, I mean. Ah, oh, click X, click X, kid, click X. You've, you've been played. You've been visited by the play police. You've been played. Okay, he goes back to Tang, which like walls my entire team, which is sad. Let's see if I can go to Empoleon one more time. I should probably sack Zap those the rocks here. And if he EQs, imagine the dominance. If I actually, if I li live on like 1% and he EQs, damn. I think this is like my only chance. If I eat it, I think this is my only chance to get him back alive. Oh, if he EQ'd there, imagine. Uh, what I could have done is I could have sacked Empoleon and then tried to get my Zapdos back, which was probably in the better play. But I thought he would definitely EQ because Empoleon is so obvious. I don't know why he didn't, but whatever. I'll go back to big Empoleon and just sack it, I guess, because the Tangrowth is such a threat. <laughs> um, yeah. The Kamo is low, though. Like, I think Scarf Cortana could actually do it. Especially if I can remove Tangrowth here. That would be so good if I could just remove this bad boy. Because Tangrowth is one of the only things that's even stopping him. Uh, he also doesn't have the good switch-ins. I mean, Zam switches in pretty nicely. He just leaves. Oh, how do I do it? Uh, but yes, this is why I have Scarf Cortana. Because uh, Scarf Cortana is just really fire on low ladder. Because uh, they don't preserve their answers. That's nice. Um, kind of played my Zapdos kind of bad. Because I just threw it out. <laughs> I threw it in the dump. I mean, uh, I should have probably... I mean, I got, it got pursued, so whatever. But should have maybe roosted there, but... Yeah, I should have probably roosted because he's like smooth rock. It's pretty obvious that he would be uh, pursuit, but I didn't want to just roost up for like 20% and him just get a free rocks. So I guess uh, I'm trying to justify my bad plays. Gallade getting powerful parried. Really lucky. <laughs> really lucky by the nasty ass opponent. But whatever. Oh, he joins. No. Mm. This is like, this is like, you know, that moment when like your uncle leaves after like a fat, nasty weekend and then he just comes back. He says, Oh, I forgot the car keys. And then he touches her ass one last time. That's actually the worst. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. This is <laughs> them. They call me no sleep because I barely slept. Uh, even though it's uh, the spring break, as I think that's how we call it in English. Uh, even though it's that uh, holidays, whatever. I barely slept, so I'm in no sleep mode. As see, remember this Pokemon? Uh, this is like one of those bad memes. Remember him? This is him now. Remember a dead Alakazam? Then this is him now. So that doesn't kill. So we're gonna get some nice damage off on him. But that doesn't matter. I would have almost killed him. I think it's better if I don't maybe thing is I want uh, the fag gun what is that called the tang big tang Rothio. so we're just gonna go to scarf cart and claim one here 
Uh, I'm just gonna knock, knock with the Bok. I hope he goes hard into Tang, so he takes like fat damage. Cause Zam dies to rocks anyway. So I just need, I just need to set up with Cartana because Cartana, if I get a plus one, I probably kill Excadrill, and I, I definitely eat a hit from Excadrill unless it's Groundium. So, mmm, I think I have to Leaf Blade because, uh, or at least Smart Strike maybe. I think Smart Strike's better probably. Smart Strike's probably the best, yeah. Because, I mean, I can't win with Smart Strike. Okay, so if this dude has a brain, he goes tar here and hits Pursuit, so he can chip me in Ice Control range. If Pursuit chips me in Ice Control range, that is. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that's what he does if he has the brain, the big brain. But I can still win if he does that, actually. Because of Mimikyu sneak in the back. I have to make some calculations. He has to go hard Ice Control, which, yeah, makes sense, too. Let me actually make some expert calculations. So, let me see if Ice Control dies in one to, uh... What if he has like manual sandstorm? Then we give him the win. That's deserved. Uh, we can win with sacred sword. <sighs> I'll go hard into Pippa Q. I think. Oh, Brilliant's definitely more expendable probably than Pippa Q. Yeah, Brilliant's more expendable. I'll go to him. So you got hard EQs. We eat those <laughs> goats. Um, I'll throw off a throw off like a spore in case he wants to SD up or something as he actually goes to Tangrowth then we can stall this out for a bit we can weaken it at least we can get some veteran chip off on it and then I think win with Leaf Blade with from thing if we can chip him in low enough we can win that way I will see though so I mean if he sacks if his Tangrowth goes down we win with Sacred Sword from Scarf Card too so expert stall now we get some more seed bomb chip then Breloom is so fire how does Breloom do it Breloom is so hot but yeah um Seed bomb for some chip. As he knocks my orb off. Oh, he doesn't want. He doesn't want to kill me. Okay, I get that. So if I kill his tangrowth, no. If I kill his tangrowth, I still win the game. I think. So he has to switch. Yeah, I should have seed bombed. I guess on the switch. Now the problem here is that uh, if he goes hard into drill here. Actually, what I can do is I think I can spam spore. I think spamming spore is fine. And just dying, and then going Kartana and think Sacred Sword. I think this is my course of plays. I think. Because this is all assuming that he doesn't have a move to one-shot me, like Groundium. Say he has, like, Groundium Excadrill. Because I think even if he's Life Orb, I still eat a hit. Because Kartana has, like, really good fit F. It has, like, shit spit F. Everyone knows that. But he has some good fit F, too. And we know it's not uh, Helmet's Tang. So we know Tang is in range, too. Because I chipped him that low. And we know Excadrill is definitely... Um, yeah, Tang is in range, right? Because uh, we know he is... I don't think there's a way he's not in range. Unless he's like max defense. Even if he's max defense, let me actually make uh, let me actually make some expert calcs because I don't want to throw this game in under the, in the dump. I mean, but yeah, I don't think that. No, I, let's let's not make expert calcs. Let's just hard sacred sword. Because even if I went mimic you there, he could have just used that as separate set of bait with ice control. So I think even if he was max fit F, I that was my only play. So I just hope he's not ground him. He's ground him. We cry. Damn, you know the slogan ground him equals cry because he's the sand extender. Ah, easy win, easy win. Damn, how do I do it? He even, he even got lucky, and I still win. Damn, I'm so fire. I'm almost at uh, 1300. Let's do it. I mean, obviously it's it's low ladder, so these these people don't know what they're doing. So just click random buns. But this dude had like a real team, not real as in like a good team, but like it had like six real Pokemon basically. I mean, Kamo isn't real, but Kamo is like not even bad. I don't think Kamo is that bad of a rocker. And obviously he had some unsets. He had Smooth Rock, uh, Tyranitar, but like. It's not good with Ice Control, but at least it makes sense. Okay, let's not dwell on this game too long. Let's go on to the next one. It's him. It's the bird. The bird has returned, unfortunately. You don't love to see it. We're going to lead off with Big Loomer, because Loom is so hot. Every game, damn, bro, Loom is so fire. So, it's going to hard Toxic. Hit whatever comes in. I don't know what your switching is, but it's going to get poisoned. Hope he's not like Specs Icy Wind or Specs HP Poison. I think I eat both, but it's going to do a shit ton. I don't know what his switching is. I hope it's uh, Zapdos, because I can stall that boy out. Dude, Spraf Breloom is so fire. I'm getting so hyped over this. I, I don't think it's a good idea to record a live with, like, no sleep. Because I just say, like, retire. I don't know even I don't know if this is entertaining. Just me saying, like, random shit and me going wild over. Me getting super happy over the fact that Spraf Breloom is goat. Please hit the poison. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go, Breloom. Oh, why am I getting happy over it? 90% <laughs> chance. Right, let me tech up for some free chip on this Zapdos. Zapdos is not going to know what hit him. Hope it's not, like, agility or whatever. So he's gonna have to have the heat wave on deck. Uh, so we don't have answers to this. So what we could do, we could either go to our own zapper here, big zapper, or we could just eat it. We could just tank it. We could just oh damn, this dude overpredicted. I'm so far. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? 
damn, how do I do it? I'm so hot. And now he's gonna now he's gonna go for the roost. So we're gonna seed bomb again. We're gonna seed bomb again because he's gonna go for roost. Watch this, watch this, watch this. This is this is the ultimate flex. This is the ultimate flex. Oh, as he goes hard to Zam, it takes like 50 or whatever. Uh, oh, 80. What the fuck, dude? Bloom is so hot. Bloom is so fire. Why did that boy take 80? Damn, that's fire. So now we go. Uh, oh, Gold Mashu. <laughs> I wish I could say hi, but I'm locked. I'm Gold Mashu the king. Uh, I can go hard to. <laughs> he says, yo, yo, yo. Wait, isn't this dude locked? I think I got him locked earlier, but apparently not. Um, I guess I'll go hard to Pippa Q. Although I kind of need his thing. Guess whose phone isn't locked? Oh, he's on his phone. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Um. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> nice expert Mashu. I'll see if he tries to sack this. That'd be super fire. I can't. I can't risk him because I would. I would love to like Shadow Cloud do ex do some extra damage. Uh, aha! We see nice spam in the chat. Hope he gets locked for this. So let me call him mod JK. But uh, I would love if he goes extra draw. I would love to Shadow Cloud right. I might have to mute uh, spectators if he uh, continues. But I would love to do like extra damage with extra draw to the Bulu whoever comes in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking retard but oh yeah it's a Delmese I don't know why Delmese is the switch because this gets to it killed unless it's Scarf Delmese in that case it's cry time uh, in that case I called it too but yeah okay he sacks his Delmese for some reason so we keep the Pippa Q because Pippa Q can still kill the Alakazam I don't know why I'm calling him Pippa Q one of my friends said that once and he keeps saying it for like no reason and now I, I took it for, I kind of stole it from him Pippa Q so we go hard to zap as he iron heads me hi I'm how am I so far so <laughs> okay let me uh, let me mute this man real quick and go back to this. But um, I'm firing off a heat wave. My Zapdos is looking fire. This team is actually hot. Like I should actually build around Spadaf Breloom. This one's so fire. Like toxic. Oh, this is gonna do so much. Uh, it actually kills that fire. Hope it doesn't have rock slide. It has toxic quicker. That's that's workable. We go for the HPIs here. I think because it's 100 percent accurate, right? So we have to kind of click it. Hope he goes to uh, hard his own Zapdos. That'd be fire. Oh, he does go hard to his own Zapdos and dies probably. Uh, would surprise me if this doesn't kill. Actually, doesn't. Interesting. So we will T bolt here to flex in case he goes Keldeo. Because I don't think I need Zapdos too bad. I mean, I, I still have him alive, right? So I can still like fire off one attack with him. But yeah, Life Orb plus Toxic, making sure we stay low. Um, if he goes extra drill with T bolting, because of, because of, because of flex. But I think this game, this game should be won. I'm T bolting this extra drill. I do not care. I do not care. Ooh, I got hot. Ooh, I got cocked. Ooh, I should have known. I should have known. Should have just HPIs. HPIs was no risk play, but I had to try to flex. Ooh, this dude reverse flex. I mean, okay, I can respect that. Um, so we're just gonna go to Galade and claim the kill here with uh, knock knock off, I guess. He can just go to Bulu too, which is annoying. But I think my own, I think my scarf card in the back just wins with Leaf Blade. I just need to weaken the Bulu, which if he goes Bulu, that gives me a great chance to weaken the Bulu. Um, <laughs> nice me making sense. Damn, I'm so good. Uh, also, my Breloomer just kind of wins. I mean, if I just need to kill Alakazam, then Breloom wins. Breloom just beats the other two with Toxics, a Toxic stall, especially bro, especially the uh, what's the the bull, the Bulu, because you get you give me Grassy Terrain. And I'm like, mm, thanks for the Grassy Terrain. Thanks like my thanks like the one man who gave me a, a nice sandwich earlier today. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> okay, so he has he has a Zam in. Ah, Zam, not like him. So I can just go with Emperor Lolion. And go Cartana after and see um, see if Cartana truly is the GOAT, like they always say. So he goes to, I mean, I go to Empoleon. I don't know why I'm saying he goes, but I go to Big Polion. Polio. Empolio. It's truly him. Then I get up Rocks, Late Game Rocks. Because there's no way he sacks this, right? So I'm going to get up Late Game Rocks. Oh, is he sacks it? That was such a god. That was such a, I mean, not a god play. I mean, it was a dog play by me. I don't know why I sacked. Uh, uh, I mean, staying in was a good play, but. Not going for the Ice Beam was a kind of a bad play because there was no way he wasn't staying because it's low ladder and he sees super effective move. And they're like, oh, super effective move. I have to click it, dude. I have to click it or my dad's coming with the belt. That's how they think. Okay, so now my man, uh, Cartana, says hello. Uh, car hello. <laughs> so I hit Smart Strike here. They call me Smart with the Strikes. Hope he goes hard, Bulu, and sacks it, and I win. But yeah, he just sacks this like a normal player. Then he goes to Caldeo. But I can have the Berloom in the back. These kids don't know about Berloom. Hope he's not. Uh, even if he's sub, I still have Brick Berloom. Dude, Berloom just kind of wins here. Damn, gold Bloom. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go with the win with Scarf Guard. But Berloom also kind of wins. As he goes hard to Bulu, which is the switch in, apparently. Interesting. Um, even if he goes to Keldeo here, as to pivot, I still get free chip for no reason. So he sacks his Bulu, throws that in the dump for some reason. Um, now he goes to Keldeo. I don't have a reason not to go Berloom. Like, I don't have a reason to throw this game in the dump still. Oh, actually, uh, we hard over Vortex. I think Sake. 
Crud. What was the thing? Smart Strike that was clicking. That was like okay too because I still had Galade to Revenge. Um, so I could have done the chip and put him in a Galade close gamut range, but whatever. I think this is like a safer way to win. <laughs> I don't want to have to stress and think that I'm losing, so I'm just going to Leaf Blade here. Bop. So we get another one in the road to 1300s. Damn, this team is so fire. I thought this team was bad. Damn, I guess I thought wrong, I guess. Uh, if you just play a bit fire, you can easily outplay these kids. Dude, Breloom is so hot. This Breloom is actually innovation. Breloom, damn, it wasn't even Pokemon I picked, too. It was, oh my, I don't know if you guys heard that, but something just toppled. But, um, I blame the ghost in my house, by the way. <sighs> I didn't even pick him. I got the random Breloom. I put my I put my faith in the hands of, uh, I don't know. There, there should be, like, a figure for the Rota 1300s who I could put my faith into. Because putting my faith in my man, God, it's just truly not the play as I'm not religious. Uh, ooh, <laughs> damn, I see these unsubs from these angry uh, religious people already coming, JK. But, um... Please, Pandarus. I'm just gonna hard HP ice. Uh, if he's uh, Scarf Edge, we slurp that up. If he's Scarf U turn, he just U turns out into uh, Zone or something. Zetlos looks so hot this game. So far. So I hope he doesn't have like Scarf Boom and just clicks it here or like Sash Boom or whatever. I uh, hope we can just kill him. It would be really saucy if he just sacks his Landers turn one without doing anything. That'd be fire. If he's Scarf. Uh, yes, he does just throw away his landers for no reason, which is cool. Zapdos puts in so much work. Dude, Life Orb Zapdos to go with here. Life Orb Zapdos looks saucy, but his Lopunny also looks. Not even saucy, his opening looks grody. As he goes to Grand, uh, whew, unfortunately for this weak soul, we have the Loomer in the back. Please don't be like Ice Beam. Okay, he's Brodian. Oops, <laughs> oops, Breloom. Ooh, what the fuck? Yo, Breloom, Breloom. These kids don't know, dude. Breloom, tell him. Tell him, Breloom, tell him. Let me protect for some free chip. I mean, reverse chip. How do you call that? Uh, free recovery. <laughs> reverse chip. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> You, are, you guys want to see something hot? You guys want to see something hot? Ooh, unfortunate. unfortunate. Okay. I thought Empoleon was way too obvious, so I thought, ooh, let me flex on him. Ooh, he's going to go to Magma Zone. Damn. Um, I want Chip so I can Tonic and win, but I also just want to double the Gallade here and just do that. Go from there. And it's a fire of a combat here. Even if he's Scarf, that means he outspeeds me, unfortunately. And he gets some Volt Switch Chip, but he doesn't have a combat switch in, so... Yeah. A Psychic Balloon made no sense, but I thought he would... Um, I thought he would like double or something. I thought he would predict the Empoleon at least. As uh, Godmashu returns, damn Godmashu is the <laughs> Godmashu is the getting getting a getting a thumbnail. This man's <laughs> coming in <laughs> trying to ruin my recording. Damn classic. So he's just gonna ooh sack his Magnezone. Cool. I was just gonna say he's just gonna Volt Switch, but I want to shout out Terrapito. Damn. Okay, let me put this man on mute again. Ah, 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 ah. Spectators ignored. Sig get silenced. So we go to. Big Empoleon in the back. As you sub, unfortunately. Oh, me no likey. I forgot about sub. I forgot this is the thing. That's. <laughs> I don't know why it required that noise, but I felt like it did. So now we have to go to Fap, though, is, which is a bit grimy because if you hard steam cannons or whatever the move's called, I'm not looking good. I'm not looking good if he does that because that just puts in so much work and I don't want to throw it away. But I also don't have Volcanion switch ins. I mean, we got a nice uh, rock up, a singular rock, but. He makes a correct play, play here, but he also just hard ice beamed again, so I think he just attacks what's in front of him. Uh, he doesn't attack what's in front of him this time, actually. So, there's no point in just not throwing Zapdos away. I have to throw this man away. <sighs> I lose, like, everything to this. Fuck. I just lose, like, every Pokemon to Volcanion. Fuck off. I just have to sack, like, everything to this. <laughs> Dude, I just have to throw out Gallade again. And that's the one thing I switched out of originally. Uh, I, had to, I switched out it with Galate originally, but now I have to switch him right back in because I don't have counters to counterplay to this. So Zen into thing kills. Please don't kill me with a rock. Please don't burn me either. Okay, I sh should have him in combat range now. At least I'm 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 assuming it's in combat range. Okay, so I should have just done this the first time instead of going uh, this, sacking Zapdos, which kind of won and kind of prevented me from losing the Cartana, which I forgot that I lose against now. But uh, if it's Scarf, I'm so good, and if it's not Scarf, I can revenge with my own. Uh, this is a Scarf, actually. Forgot about that. So we're gonna go hard in the Pampoleon. He just U turns out. U turns out the Lopini and gets one, unfortunately. That's how it works. That's just that's how Mafia work. But how Mafia also work is Mono Lusa fighting type, so. Lopini, Sacred Sword. Oh, I was just gonna say, how is that? But, okay, Sacred Sword kills after rocks. I, I, immaculate rocks by the sealer. How do I do it? Um. I'm gonna just hard Ice Beam. Uh, that doesn't kill. It does kill. Okay, interesting. So. Okay. Uh, this is bad. Yeah. Okay, so... I thought that wouldn't kill, so I thought I could get some veteran chip. But do I kill a Sacred Sword? No. Okay, so... 
This isn't scarf, right? Because this is already scarf. Right. 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 This isn't scarf because that's already scarf. Right. It's ladder, come on. Ladder. There's no way. Oh, also, what does he sack, actually? Do um, you think he stays in, then? Because what I could do is double the cards on a Kektana, I mean. I to cover every possible option. Because Leafla doesn't do anything. The problem is if he doubles the Greninja, I'm fucked. But there's no way you would sack Greninja, right? So, either... It's not a close combat. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. So, I, I think double the Cartana would have been better to scout if it's Scarf. Oh, it wasn't Scarf, so it wouldn't have been better. Yeah, what am I saying? What am I saying? So, I can just throw out Gallade against whatever comes in. Yeah, I can just throw this Mon out because it gets outsped and killed by both of these. So, I can just throw this out. Then, he is forced... If he stays in, he U-turns. Okay, okay, that's super fire. That's super hot. So, now he's forced into... The question is, can my man Pipikyu do it? I have to go to my boy here and hit Sacred Sword. Because I know Sacred Sword kills from here because of the expert rocks that I got up earlier. I have a guarantee to kill this. Come on, bop this man. He gets some veteran chip off, unfortunately. We hit him with the Sacred Sword. Okay, we hit him with the sword right here. I definitely died to Ice Beam from Protean Greninja. So, the real question is here. We have a few questions. Number one is, uh, why are we not Drain Punch Pipikyu? Number two is uh, does Pippa Q eat Ice Beam? And number three is can we not get frozen? Those are the three mythical questions. So we're just going to stack off Crackatana because it doesn't do anything here. Because we know he's Scarf. We know he's going to kill us. Now we go to Mimikyu here. I think we still win, right? I don't think we... Even if we die to this, I think we're still good because... Let me see. Greninja, Special Waste Protean, Remove the Dark Typing. We... Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw just straight up massacres this man. So unless we get frozen, we win here. As we do not get frozen, let's get it. So we can Shadow Claw into Shadow Sneak, and Pipikyu does it again. Expert Belt Pipikyu, the GOAT. As somehow, we slaughter the entire ladder This with this horrendous team. Uh, either the, all these kids in the 1200s are awful, or I'm just a GOAT when, I'm, when I don't sleep. Uh, I will be back next time when I also don't sleep, because that's when I perform the best. Uh, let's just hope I didn't fuck up the audio in this recording, because then, ooh, my uncle is fucked.